Gary? I don't know how to use iTools on my EPC 3000 to configure passcodes. Did someone say EPC 3000? Who's that? That's Dr. Bob. He knows anything and everything about temperature controllers. Do I have a remedy for you? You can use iTools in an offline mode to configure a file known as a clone file, which you can save to a PC or offline media such as a USB stick, and then download the file to an EPC 3000 when required. You can also use iTools to make immediate changes to an existing EPC 3000 by directly connecting to the device. This demo provides an overview of some fundamental aspects, illustrates menu options to use for saving a file to disk or sending a file to the EPC 3000, and explains how to change values while connected to an EPC 3000. This demo does not get into the details of the concepts, but just provides an overview. For details on specific aspects, refer to the additional how-to demos. To create a clone file for an EPC 3000 offline, click File and select New Clone File. Click the EPC 3000 tab. Ensure you select the correct type to match the hardware you intend to use. Select Loop. You can configure parameters such as PID settings by expanding the relevant list to view and edit the values. More details are provided in the following sections of this demo. A good practice is to open the clone file in iTools or have a screenshot of the file ready while using the front panel of the EPC 3000. This practice ensures that the hierarchy of menus is clear. You can use graphical wiring to configure in soft wire function blocks. An example of graphical wiring is available in the demo titled How to Use iTools to Set Up an Alarm in the EPC 3000 configuration. Click File to save the clone file with a .uic extension. Save as, then save the file in the required location with an appropriate name. To directly connect to an EPC 3000 device, click Scan. Select the relevant communications method. For more information on the different communications method, Refer to the how to set up communications between an EPC 3000 and a PC so that iTools can be used presentation. Note the two icons at the bottom of the screen. One represents the actual EPC 3000 connected device and the other represents the offline clone file. Click File. To send an offline clone file from the PC to the EPC 3000 device, first click the File icon at the bottom of the screen, then in the File menu, select Send to Device. To save the contents of an EPC 3000 to a local clone file, ensure that you select the connected EPC 3000 and then select Save As from the File menu. While connected to an EPC 3000, you can change live values, such as PID tuning parameters, by clicking the Connected Device icon and selecting the menu corresponding to the parameters you wish to alter.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out processcontrol.tv for other tutorials on how to use an EPC 3000.